Libra Scorpio to your end of the month reading for July. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, if you guys like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, getting straight in here into your energy, what you are thinking and feeling. of cups. Ooh, coming up is some water. Your water sign going on, perceiving what you perceive. I know. I'm self-assured. Don't tell me. Got it. <laughs> nice and balanced. Okay. And let's clarify that. The Oracle card. This Oracle card has an important job. It's not only going to clarify on the King of Cups, but it's going to also clarify in the overall reading. One more. There it is. Stand your ground. Wow. Okay. Oh, well. Let's go straight into the present, the near past, and the near future. The near past will show us how you got into being this king of cups, feeling balanced in your emotions, and all knowing, totally intuitive, uh, perceiving, and self assured. Like, you can't tell me. Don't tell me. I know right now. Present. Clarify on the King of Cups in the present. Why is Libra Scorpio doing this? Because the base chakra. Ooh, I have with the base chakra. Heartache and loss. Okay. In the near past. We have the light upside down, which is the same as the sun upside down, and self-sacrifice. In the near future, you have moving on with hope. Nice. Okay. Let's just look at the numbers here really fast since we have we've got six going on right now. So we have one plus nine is ten. It's one, one. Three, eight, six, three, seven. Okay, and then one again. So you got a lot of ones, a lot of new beginnings going on here. And you know it. You know it. You can probably feel it. That's why you did a self-sacrifice in the past, near past, trying to get past those doors, trying to transition, saying, if I don't do this, it's nothing is going to, um, it's not going to work itself out, right? So I have to do something. So you actually went in there and said, I'm making a self-sacrifice and I'm doing this right now because I am not happy. I am not happy and I do not want to feel like this anymore. So clarify on the light, please. I'm not happy, so I'm going inside as the hermit, going straight into a Virgo mode. You might even have Virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, however it is, or just taking on that Virgo energy, no matter what, you knew you were not happy, so you know that you had to go self-reflect. You needed to get deeper within yourself, and I believe this is how you came up with the self-sacrifice, because you came to the conclusion, this is not fixing itself. Maybe I've been sitting here for too long, and nothing is changing. These doors are not closing Nothing is doing anything, so I'm going to have to take the initiative, me, taking the initiative. The universe is not doing anything. People around me aren't doing anything. No one's doing anything, so I guess it's up to me. And that's really the way I feel. Um, and I really have that feeling coming over me like you were, like you had to take the stand. Right, there it is. Stand your ground. You had to take the stand. You knew you needed to move. You needed to get yourself balanced uh, you couldn't stay here. If you wanted the achievements that you needed, there had to be balance out from everything. And you've got the black, um, 
sphinx over here with the white sphinx king that yin and yang going on that complete balance and you knew you needed balance to move on uh nothing was like i said nothing was changing you couldn't hold on to this anymore it was it almost feels like you kind of have this like it's killing me inside i gotta get out of this i have to travel away from this i need to get motivated i need to get my accomplishments done i need to find the self-confidence i need to get level-headed I need a better destination. I need something. This is not working. Taking that self-sacrifice, getting in there. Page of Wands, upside down. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles had to take self-sacrifice because you did not see yourself traveling anywhere. You felt stuck. You were stuck. Plain and simple, that's all that is. 100% stuck. Okay, you're upside down. You might even feel exploited. Did somebody exploit you? Is this, you know, is this another big thing here? You know, did somebody exploit you? Were they bragging? Were they doing bad things? Were they taking advantage of you? And you're like, I can't do this anymore. You're putting a dent in my self-confidence. You're putting a dent in the relationship. You're denting everything around me. I just felt like a dent up car. Shoot, oh my gosh, maybe somebody actually did that. Maybe somebody ruined your car. Maybe somebody got in a car accident and you're like, that's it. I'm done. Or didn't pay for the car. Or, I don't know. It's sitting over here next to the chariot and I just heard car. So did somebody do something with a car? Or didn't pay the payment and allowed the car to be taken away? I don't know, something about a car. Um crashed your car, I don't know, stole your car, something about a car, so if anybody had any car issues that had something to do with somebody else, um, let me know, or maybe it was just to the point to where I'm not making any money, and I can't afford my car, Th things have to change, no matter what, this is not helping me, maybe this person was also lazy, the page of wands, a lazy person, they said they were going to help pay for the car and they don't want to get off their butt move and they, you guys end up losing the car. Not enough money. Spirit is saying that whoever you're dealing with could be a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo coming up. It doesn't have to be because you could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Virgo as well. Um, actually, you have every sign pretty much on the board so far except for air signs because you even have earth um but definitely for somebody it's spirit wants us to know that it's going to come up as a fire sign um energy that fire sign energy is them really feeling like i don't know why do i feel like they're lazy but they think they're the, the queen or the king of the jungle that's for somebody they don't want to move they don't want to get up. They don't want to do anything. They allow them to take the car away or couldn't fix the car after they crashed it or something. I don't know. That's like I said, that's just for somebody. I won't stay on that long because that's probably like one of you. Um, um, but definitely feeling like they are the queen. They want to take the action that they want to take. Um, but it's not the action you want them to take. They're very self-confident in what they do, but I feel they're lazy. And this is where you have to self-sacrifice. Did you self-sacrifice because you got self-assured and you said, you know what, I have to take a second job? Um, taking self-sacrifice because I'm tired of fighting, bailing out of this relationship. I had to bail out of this, this energy took a self-sacrifice to bail out of whatever it is that's going on. Maybe a relationship, a job that wasn't paying well. But it felt like not only did you bail out, but because you took a self-sacrifice, you forced yourself out. This wasn't the universe this time actually forcing you out. It felt like when you took a self-sacrifice, you forced yourself. It was like you took everything inside of you to get to this peace because you had to get into hermit mode. It took every bit of your energy and inner strength to get in there. And you even 
could be taking on a little of that Queen of Wands energy as well. Um, really taking the action, getting intuitive, and really getting heated and hot to take on that energy because you knew you needed a fresh new start. You needed to do something different. And bam, there you go. You're the King of Cups. You're like, I'm self-assured. Don't you tell me what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. Because that's the King of Cups attitude. Because see, once you start getting into that attitude... You are so self-assured. You can perceive everything. That ultimate strength is coming in. You know, you have the intuitiveness to do what you want to do. And you know right now that you've gone deep down inside. You've done everything you're supposed to do. And you know where you're going. Okay. And you're like, you listen to me with no question. Oh boy, and I wouldn't want to question that. Okay, because that's that water sign question. Don't, don't, don't question that. Because now you're questioning authority. Don't question my authority. Just listen to what I'm doing. Because now I'm honorable in my own ways and to myself. Or for my whole family, right? Bringing on that integrity. Standing your ground. Saying, this is how we're getting back to our roots, baby. Okay, so whether or not this person is still here, um... Or you just bailed out of a really bad job or however it is. If this person is still here, whatever, it doesn't matter because you're getting back to your base chakra. You're getting back to your roots with your strength and standing your ground. You're saying, I'm planting my roots here. I moved them from over here, from underneath this tree where it wasn't getting any sunlight. And I'm moving my roots over here on the side of the tree where I can now get sunlight. You know, it's kind of like that thing, you know, you plant flowers and stuff underneath the oak tree. It doesn't get no sunlight, right? So you picked yourself up and you moved yourself when you did the self-sacrifice. You're getting back to what you have. And what you have also is heartache and loss. You know it, but you do know it because you're the king of cups. You know, like that sword's energy. They know things, but this is an intuitive knowing, right? This is that self-assured, preceived knowing. The swords, of course, obviously is the logical knowing. It's a little bit different. This is like that inner deep knowing. You know what I'm talking about, you know? So yeah, and you know, and you know, deep down inside, you still have heartache and loss. Well, it's, but you're standing your ground and you're being very strong. Yeah. It's like, you're, I'm not going to be the hangman. I'm not going to just hang around here. I'm actually going to, you know, I got up, I picked myself up. I got back to my basics. I got back to the roots of where I'm going to be. I got my firm foundations. I'm putting myself back where I need to be. Yes, I'm moving along very well, thank you. I'm determined with the hangman upside down. I'm very determined to get to where I need to be. Yes, I have had heartache and loss. But I still have the strength over here. I said somebody might be dealing with Leo. I have the strength. And maybe you're even telling them, hey, you know what? I want you to have the strength too. <clears throat> Okay, but the five of swords, you're saying, I have the strength, I have the confidence, don't ask me questions. Because deep down inside, I still have a heartache and loss. Okay, but I'm standing my ground against it. Trying not to think about that. Going strong. Five of swords, not allowing people to tell me what to do. Having the understanding and the realizations and maybe even forgiving this person over here. Maybe you even, you know, you're in the heartache and loss. Maybe you're like, you know what, I'm going to forgive you. Because I know that we had a rift in the relationship. I understand what was going on. I understand, you know, that you did this and that. And, you know, I understand we had disagreements. But, you know what, we'll have some mutual respect for each other. And have a reconciliation and have mutual understandings about this heartache and loss. Yeah, it's loss. There you go. Libra Scorpio, bringing up your Scorpio card, you know, you're saying I have the mutual, mutual, too much shock and calamity. I think your partner wanted a reconciliation with you, but you said there's too much shock, there's too much heartache, there's too much loss, I'm not taking your reconciliation. Like I said, that strength card over here, it could be you and it could also be your partner. 
And now it's coming up to me to tell me that they wanted a reconciliation. I think you forgave them. But you moved on and you told them there's too much shock. There's too much calamity. There's too much fighting. I cannot take you back. It's too much heartache. I've got to where I need to be and I'm standing my ground. I'm looking at other things. Yes, I might still be starry-eyed for you. And I understand that you might be still starry-eyed for me. Okay, but in seriousness, I cannot, I cannot take you back. I have to look out in a new direction. I have the clarity and the understanding as the king of cups over here. Someone, one of you probably has this Pisces, you know, besides the Scorpio in you. Um, I do feel like somebody might have Pisces in them as well. I'm feeling this very forgiving, loving nature anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, you're just saying, I need healing. And you might even be telling them you need healing too, and we just cannot be together. I'm sorry, do not beg me back. I'm not coming back. I have to go be the Nine of Pentacles that I am. traveling away, looking at my materialism from a different point of view because I did the self-sacrifice for myself. Um, if it wasn't a loss within the relationship, then it is your job calling you back and you're telling them, I'm sorry, I really did love my job, but I have to do everything for my family and I cannot take you back. I cannot go back there, excuse me. I cannot go back there. I have to look at what my family is doing. I have to look out for myself and my family, okay? Moving on. You definitely moved on. Maybe that was the point that you took the self-sacrifice, you know, you did what everything you were supposed to do, but you hadn't 100% really moved on yet, right? You're just kind of getting your P's and Q's and standing your ground, and then in your future, you're literally now moving away. Right, because you have the High Priestess coming up. And the High Priestess is saying it is now the perfect timing for us to move away from each other. To completely move away from each other. To move away from all of this. You are going to aim higher at other things with hope. With the Four of Wands. Finding the passion and the hope somewhere else with the Fool. There it is, with the Fool. Taking a leap of faith somewhere else, taking changes and chances somewhere else. Keeping yourself self-assured, though, with the Page of Cups knowing. Seven of Cups, that there's so many more options out there. Yeah. With the judgment. Good judgment calls. You know that there's other things out there for you. Whatever it is that you're bailing out of. But however it is in the near future, you know you made the right choice. The cycles were not good for you. You were not going to stay somewhere where you were not happy. You feel so, with all these options and this self-confidence in the near future, you have so much more relief. You're out of your depression. You're out of your heartache and sorrows. You're out of all of this stuff and you just feel like you moved forward with the most important thing for you in your life. It was like you made a break, and not only did you make this break, but this was a very great judgment call that you could make. Maybe you had been stuck here for a long time. And so however it is, this hope and this new change and this new leap of, leap of faith and all these new judgment calls and all these things are bringing in so many more options, and you know it. And there are things that you can get more passionate about. You might even find new love somewhere else with the four of wands um if this is a job your family with the four of wands you, this is the best move you could have made for your family was getting out of whatever this was okay and it could have been a crappy house <laughs> okay and finding a new house 
owning a house. Um, however, it was. Okay, it's going to be, like I said, different for everybody. Um, can only bring up so many scenarios. Otherwise, you know, we'd be here all day long. Um, so take it how it resonates with you. Um, but yeah, this is a great judgment call for you. And I think it's the best thing you could have done. Really do. It's going to give you peace of mind. Yep. Communicate clearly with the things that you want. When you're standing your ground, communicate clearly, whether it's to your, this job, to this person, whatever. To God, even, right? Even to your angels, communicate clearly what you want. Take action. Do not worry. Worry is going to leave you nowhere. Keep strong as that king of cups. Okay? And don't stop. And when I hear don't stop, don't stop being the king of cups. Don't stop standing your ground because you're going, your near future looks amazing. I mean, just amazing. You're, you're leveling up. You might even have text messages about, you know, new dates. Uh, you might have text messages about maybe this new house, whatever it is. Um, but however it is, you're going places and you're reaching higher things for yourself. And that's the most important thing is getting out of this, finding the forgiveness, and then moving forward. So very beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. So until next time, my friends, that was your reading. Peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.